Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. In this uh, particular video, we are going to discuss about a story of a data scientist. How to become from taking the courses to the, uh, uh, you know, uh, entering to the uh, to, to a company. So uh, I'm going to explain my story since I'm jobless right now. So it is the right time. Uh, that's what I feel to help people who are out there looking for to transition into the data science or or uh, wanted to understand how a life of a data scientist is when he or she started working in any any of the uh, you know organizations so, so started uh, starting a uh, little uh, discussion about myself i mean introduction about myself so my name is sunil kumar and uh, i am a, a, a data scientist with the over uh, 6 year of uh, years of uh, experience i started working with accenture back in 2017 and then i left my uh, uh, last company in 2023 uh, july 15th which was neostats analytics as a data scientist consultant so i am going to explain you uh, uh, you know entire process how it started how this uh, uh, idea came into my mind that i should choose a data scientist uh, data science and i should become a data scientist because back in 2019 i remember when i was uh, uh, working for accenture and i felt that i re i may require transition uh, uh, from this non technical domain to the technical domain however i was working in the machine learning project computer vision for this self-driving vehicle to generate the label basically annotation task uh, 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 a small segment of the machine learning under the computer vision so but that was non-technical term and i uh, had in mind that i should uh, change myself you know and i was looking around a lot of resources that what are the resources and what are the things what are the courses out there that will make me a technical guy and you know where i don't have to learn much of the coding part since I was a, a, a BSc Biotech, uh, you know, I was from a BSc Biotech background and it was little hard during then to, uh, you know, switch into the non, uh, 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 to switch into the technical domain from the non-technical non domain. So what did I do is I started up taking a few uh, uh, online courses. I started going through YouTube and then once I was done and I got good confidence that, that this is something that I want to do. So I joined Simply Learn, uh, uh, you know, master program in data scientist for the 44,000 I paid. So uh, once I joined, I, I also made a separate video for those, uh, you know, uh, for that uh, particular experience because experience was something which was not really good for me with the, uh, 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 you know, uh, Simply Learn uh this ad tech company so th they promised that we have placement assist program etc etc so that turned out something like uh, you know i did not learn any anything much and which was basically 40 percent in term of the industry requirement so i started understanding that I, there is a need that i need to I, I need to learn more i took the course from the alma better i did again uh, i think uh, one point uh, almost around 14 months i spent uh, learning and studying the master program in data uh, sorry, sorry full stack uh, programming data scientist from simply uh, alma better so in these uh, you know from 2019 i almost spent uh, you know saturday sunday uh, 13 uh, 13 20 12 12 hours uh, saturday sunday and almost three years i continued this journey so once i was you know good enough i, I felt that this is the time i should now start looking for the job i started looking for the job i was rejected for the 10 interviews uh, into the various companies uh, i i don't remember the name right now and and if i remember also i don't have the list of the names so probably i'll make another video and come up with those 10 uh, companies what were the questions they did ask and what should, should be the ideal answer for that i however i have noted every time whenever i used to reject i used to note the company name and the question being asked i used to do the same thing for the multiple companies i did the same thing till the 10 company and i found the pattern what is the common pattern that is missed what is the common mistakes that i am doing while giving the interview once i finished with the, all these 10 companies and i, I sought out that uh, it, you know looked into a trend and the pattern that what is the pattern that i am doing what is the mistake that i am doing in continuously again and again so i tried working on that and after there onward i started cracking the interviews like i am a pro so i uh, cracked the interview five round four, four to five round for the fractal analytics and i joined fractal analytics as a great a grade eight data scientist so working with fractal to be very honest it was in a one line it was great experience for me uh, I, I, once I joined, I'm going to explain how you will feel. So now, once you join, I was deployed to a project of time series where, which, which was completely new to me. 
company was so great they gave me one uh, uh, one week of time so that i can you know kind of uh, groom those skills uh, if uh, uh, kind of forget and, and put my project expertise into the place so uh, when, when once i started working uh, you know with uh, fractal so i got a, a time series project from a client so they were looking they were pre they were preparing the beer right they were preparing the beer for to prepare the beer they need raw material that was barley corn and diesel diesel as a fuel but other uh, two as a raw material to prepare the beer so now there was a problem associated that uh, the beer that beer right the beer was a uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 the, the the raw material for the beer so that was they have to kind of a book or uh, sign the contract for that and that and also you know you know kind of uh, look for the future contracts there is something called future contract future contracts are the things which basically you buy the futures commodity let's say after for two three months you are going to block that uh, 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 that particular price but you are you are you're going to pay right now you will be having this all delivery after two two three months right so for that time you are going to sign right now and you're paying some uh, you know some cash based upon the present trends so you pay some extra cash or, or some, some sort of what exactly future con uh, contract is trending what at what price future contracts are trending so that was one thing and there, there were a lot of challenges right because they have to pay extra and they were not sure the when prices are going to up go, going to go down so there was a this challenge that they want to do price optimization basically yeah they want to do commodity hedging when is the right time to take the commodity build a model which can predict the prices so that we know uh, well in advance that we should take it so like that right right we, to we had to apply the time series analysis uh, and at uh, time series modeling you know looking into the various aspect of the time series uh, component in including stationarity seasonality white noise you know dividing those components looking for the stationarity applying some of the test ad fuller test and my learning what was the my learning so what are the things that i learned first of all what was my typical day looked like during then so my typical day used to look like i used to be i used to you know log in early eight to nine o'clock and then uh, we had we had we, ha we uh, i used to work on the task that previously was assigned right so we had our uh, team of four to five people their manager you know data engineer uh, uh, and uh, associate data scientist and data scientist me being data, sci data scientist and another person who is who i report to is called manager so that is kind of a senior data scientist who was working but not working directly in the project he was guiding us and taking care of all the uh, dependency uh, taking care of all the timelines where the project is at what time so uh, kind of a so 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 this was the thing this was the environment and we used to work together closely for example if there is a data engineer so data engineer is uh, the one who is taking care of data who is uh, who is preparing the data so every time i being data scientist i need to uh, i need to you know look and and uh, communicate that this is the kind of data that we are looking this is the kind of trans transformation that we are looking and i think you should do this i think we should do this yeah so sort of things and sort of ideas suggestions to each other we used to provide i think this is the seasonality you should not look i think this is the uh, you know granularity the data granularity that we should look if it is a weekly if it is a monthly if it is a yearly so this sort of discussion used to happen so every day we used to have 11 o'clock uh, uh, 11 depend upon some time flexibility of all the people because more people there are, there are the few people who are multiply working on the different different projects in in my team so during then so i was the one who was only since it was i was new to the company so i was working only for one project so during then there were few people who were working parallelly to the other projects so timing should match based upon timing normally it used to happen 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock we used to have the meet and uh, for the 30 to 40 minutes where where we will discuss about the project what we have been doing like i remember first meet when we started discussing about the plan for the project what are the steps that we should follow jaise ki uh, for example consider we you have a road map you have a journey you wanted to go from here to uh, delhi so how you are going to go and what time you will reach where so that kind of a road map for the project right so we used to decide and we used to find out the pattern uh, for example we used to find out some uh, uh, you know some uh, 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 steps for example first of all we need to implement univariate analysis which will act as a baseline so for the univariate analysis we need to do the model selection and we we, we need to do the uh, uh, you know stationarity check we need to do the time series component check so how we are going to do that now there will be adf test 
देर विल बी यू नो को इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट इंक्लूडिंग जोहैनसन टेस्ट एंड अदर टेस्ट यू नो दिज आर समर टेस्ट एज वेल ग्रेंजर कॉजैलिटी सो लुकिंग फॉर द काजुअल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू टाइम्स सो दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स बी यूज टू राइट डाइन राइट डाउन दैन बी यूज टू डिसाइड द वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप we going to perform we going to perform the once we are done with this we going to set it as a baseline we going to perform now the feature engineering so now going to the feature engineering the again we we going to decide the time for that right what time we will be finishing the feature engineering we do we, we do have three things three commodity by what time we can expect that we will be doing this so that kind of road map by what time we will be looking for the multivariate on the top of it now multivariate analysis after multivariate analysis pre processing task should take this time by what we are planning to finish it and then by what we are uh, planning to perform the modeling step now multivariate modeling steps so what are the model that we are choosing and we are going to discuss with the client these are the model and we are going to take the approval from the client so this kind of prototype we used to do the this for example we are somewhere in future selection and it's some some let's say 12th or 15th week of our discussion so daily call used to happen something like this that we will be there by 11 o'clock all people will join once people are joining we will start giving the updates so we have started since we decided this was the timeline so we started with the feature uh, uh, you know extraction or the feature uh, uh, selection uh, technique so we assume that we are right now at 80% of this and by 20% in uh, another two days we will be doing so the, now there will be cross questioning so how did you do this do you think it is really really right so we will verify it it's not like this blindly manager is someone who will blindly say ah oh, okay this is a great awesome you have done it so now there used to happen cross questioning so how this is relevant how this is not really why did you do this why did you not do this do you think this is right way i think you have done some mistake do you think code needs to be optimized do you think do you think this code or line of code will work well with the pipeline because ultimately we are going to set a pipeline so for the pipeline the code should be like that right so line by line code for example you are repeating you you are doing a you are preparing a code who is repeating yeah you are preparing a, a code uh, for the repetitive task line by line code instead of that for the repetition where we need this particular work again and again you can prepare functions etc etc so something like this we will verify and we'll say we need modification here so whatever modification is there we will come back we will do it so every third day in a week we used to have discussion with the client now for example this is what was the internal discussion what we discussed 11 o'clock right where we we understand each other's work progress and uh, 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 gives the re recommendation and some of the changes which are required so we go back and we do it and next day assume there is now client meeting in the client meeting what are the changes we made and what is the progress that we have shown so far are we good with the timeline that we agreed earlier or not so in this particular step what you do is you go in front of uh, uh, client i mean you normally started all the people started explaining about their work that this is what we have done this is what we have achieved so far and this is something that we think it is significant so no client is the one who gives you approval that your work is right or not or if there further modifications are required or not are we satisfied with what you are doing right now so keep doing it or not they will look into this now so in this particular stage they will understand and review they will say thank you very much or something something they will appreciate if you have done really good but if you if you did not then they will come up with few uh, uh, a modification then i think this is not going to work in this way how it will be so cross cross questioning happens so here in this particular learning see my video is to make you people uh, uh, learn right so you should get some learning so in this particular stage you should have two to three things very very much important first thing attention to de details if you are the one who is giving attention to every single detail whatever is being cascaded whatever is being communicated internally in the team and uh, 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 cross sectionally uh, uh, considering uh, client and you uh, your team right so attention to detail is something very much important required yeah attention to detail is very much more important required here in this particular thing and communication skills are also required so those two things are these hard skills which are required which basically you should have on the tip 
if you have good communication skills and also communi when i say communication skills it doesn't mean speaking just like me in one way right communication skills mean listening also what client is telling you just listen if you are not able to listen it ask it twice thrice four times no problem but you just you just never say it yes okay right understood and next day you come up with like blank faces like i did not understand exactly so client was already telling you if you are not understood just tell me so we should so understanding the problem right understanding the problem and every step of the every uh, every steps in a particular projects that is very much important and seeking the clarity is more important than anything when you're doing this in kind of interaction with the client two three things seek clarity all the time you ask two times three times i mean client will not make your pre assumption that this guy is not intelligent this guy is not uh, really good uh, this guy be feel is not technically great he is asking small small things there is no small thing big thing see you are ultimately there to do uh, look look the solution for their problem right they doesn't know about their problem so that exact that's exactly why you should know first of all their problem if you are not get going to get some part of it you should ask it there is nothing wrong in asking the question but the problem is you don't keep on asking the question once you ask the question you look suitable solution as well so that becomes a good pattern but if you kept on asking the question throughout the entire 100% of the project then you become a kind of a stupid here right because you ask the question and then you look for the solution and then you provide the solution that means the client heart and and confidence this particular person is really engaged himself in this project and be feel like this guy is not wasting the time just by asking the question but also is asking the right question so that he will be able to reach to a point where we will get our solution from this guy yeah yeah entire team or it will definitely generate a lot of client value right when you when you have these skills so now coming to the next part once we get some feedback now it is a story right so i'm telling in a story manner so it is a feedback when you, once you get it back from the client you go back again you have if it is required again you do the meeting with your team that this is what something they said be provided this this was something right similar right i think uh, what they said do we can we do exactly same if do if we can do it and it is required to do so how exactly we gonna reach if in case we doesn't know how exactly we gonna reach right so this sort of communication makes it very much i mean you need to understand while you are working as a data scientist not only technical skills including python machine learning database skills and presentation skills and uh, uh, you know this is not just enough more than this domain knowledge and the communication skills attention to details these three skills nobody will teach you and this is very very much important while working as a data scientist in some of the big company good company if you want to become if you want to grow continuously keep in mind these are some of the great skills that you should carry if you carry you are successful data scientist attention to details yeah attention to details communication skills and business domain what i was lacking and what i learned as a learning because this, this video is for the learning right so as a learning what i learned is uh, 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 from the fractal at, at least domain knowledge knowledge matters a lot if you have domain knowledge you know where to implement where what to implement where how to do it what will what what's going to happen what is the next step in this process you understand the business what kind of variables are important for me what kind of variables can be impacted uh, through the weather if weather study is important or not what exactly weather how exactly weather is correlated to the crops yeah corn barley etc etc if you understand the relationship you definitely have the basic knowledge idea at least common sense that understanding the weather variable for this crop definitely will make sense how now you gonna utilize it how you gonna you know uh, use the weather variables which which are going to be sensible which are going to make some sense for your analysis for your modeling so this is called something and and you you should know when import is happening when export is happening what are the uh, you know commodity trade centers and how exactly this exchange happens uh, see we used to work with the cbot bmf brazil uh, something is the I, i forgot the name but there is a central board of chicago chicago board of uh, uh, trade something like that right so what exactly it happens when life rises uh, you need to understand the market yeah how much this party uh, if this is a client how much and uh, at what extent at what quantity this particular client uh, you know uh, consumes the particular commodity at work yeah 
and and uh, when prices goes up when prices go down and how is, is there any other competitor that we have in the market how exactly this works how exactly this is working worldwide yeah how exactly the business of this particular client only working based upon the how this particular commodity is impacting this particular business of this particular client if you understand these all things and he, along with if you understand the you know how these commodities uh, uh, shows the trend when it shows the trend what are the reason for those trends you know exactly the things what to treat how to treat yeah what a technique to use if you do, if you doesn't know anything about the this kind of commodity and you don't have business knowledge at all you definitely you, however you are great in the uh, technical skills python business skills uh, technical skills in, in python machine learning power bi tableau ppt preparation represent pro, report presentation it is definitely incomplete without the business domain knowledge so to describe a problem itself you should know the things the parameters if you doesn't know what for example i'm adding some of the uh, some of the key term bmf cbot yeah and corn price uh, 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 and let's say gold commodity price how gold is impacting man how gold is uh, now now there is a there's um, other things also uh, i mean uh, right now i'm not remembering but other things like bazar variables france variable Euro, europe uh, bazar india's bazar how if these bazar variables are making sense or not if india is correlated to the france france is correlated to the brazil but indian brazil is there any correlation if you understand then only you know selectivity of the uh, particular uh, 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 variables and if you do the right selectivity if you select right variables definitely you are choosing right amount of things indicator which are impacting the main things and your analysis is not going to go based in that particular time so these are the some of the great things that i learned while i was working as a data scientist in new states analytics so be always be like that and be always open and vocal to any challenges and uh, uh, about anything i used to i used to work like uh, sometime i used to work for 12 hours as well uh, sometime i used to provide some extra efforts because extra when you're working is at least uh, as a fresher you should provide extra effort by your side to make yourself a data scientist not to work for them and say you are paying me 4 lpa 5 lpa 7 lpa so i will work this person so that kind of attitude is definitely negative attitude you should not keep it if you are at a learner phase you should just give how much you can yeah that was the journey till fractal then i joined new states analytics i started working for a client is called is a banking client so we have one bank so they were not having good grasp they were not having good amount of customer in personal loan so they wanted to enhance that personal loan journey and increase the conversion rate so when i talk about there so they are also like similarly like fractal we used to connect for some time and nobody used to bother you from morning to evening right so that kind of environment was there in fractal but here also in new state analytics also this kind of environment was there and uh, uh, you know uh, just to remind you again right i started my journey back into th three years back and started giving saturday sunday and once i entered to the company this kind of learning never stops you need to continue grow and learn in real time basis in real time basis the the the, the data that you have you never saw before or earlier you might have to encounter with that data and there are few things in real time basis that you learn so learning once you become a data scientist you need to understand you need to make sure one thing that you just started learning you did not stop it you have to st you started learning now now this is the major part and the last part of this uh, entire story where you learn the most and and this is what you this is when you can call yourself as a good or great data scientist because learning for three years four years may frustrate you it may be frustrating thing to do it doesn't mean that once you become a data scientist you will chill around you will stay a little calm and, and kind of things you will do you know new state i joined in new state then uh, there were a lot of challenges that again i faced because i was into the completely banking domain right so this project was completely into the banking domain so i never worked before in do banking domain so it was hard for me to how to process the data for example there were few variable sns uh, uh, etv ntv os net net os some what was these few de definitions like this right so i need to understand pre logged in post logged in and journey started funnel journey stages so these were completely like what are those things so that that is when i educated myself that these are the this is the things this is the thing this is a particular uh, thing is uh, uh, you know uh, referring to 
once i understood that then we started actually understanding the what how should we prepare the poc once we prepare the poc now this is a proof of concept it, you need to convert it to the original uh, uh, you know, practically you need to convert it to the success to to to, to the success so doing the dashboard analysis understanding present existing problem you know establishing a connection with the databases these are the very basic thing that you do as a data scientist initially you will be given access to the databases either it will be cloud either it will be uh, um, uh, my uh, sql server or some other uh, kind of databases which which they are companies uh, uh, maintaining so from there you have to fetch the data so database language is very much important that is sql especially sql and knowledge the basic knowledge about the cloud is definitely plus point so being data scientist these are very important thing that you should carry if you carry it there are likely high chances that you are going to get select uh, select uh, uh, rather than other person who is not having these two skills right so database is something because very first thing you have to connect uh, to the database sometime what you have to do is you have to find out the relationship between multiple tables it may not happen that query is so simple there are buzz around in the industry that you know just learn the basic sql and this basic sql will definitely uh, you know be sufficient for the data science task no this is not reality there might be some complex task there might be some uh, 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 you know sub query or query that you might have to write so depending upon uh, depending upon the how complex your data is where exactly your data is stored how multi uh, how many multiple table your data contains so you need to perform multiple joins you need to gather the data and store that particular uh, and fetch that particular uh, data in, in a tabular form why because there might be some information in some table and some information in some table if you do not join properly there might be mismatch in the information and you may end up doing the wrong analysis all the time being a data scientist so that will be the very first thing and you will never lead and uh, reach to a point where you will say i have generated a lot of impact to the client this will never happen so you need to make sure database connection and understanding of the database database languages are first very first step is the very first step which you should uh, uh, perform then going forward you should understand domain knowledge as i explained again while working as a data scientist domain knowledge third technical thing for example i was in in new state i was not knowing power bi effective use so there i had to learn power bi as well so you should always keep a open to learn mindset because every time it depends definitely multiple clients will be using multiple technology and things data science is a thing where you should say to yourself completely and clearly as, as to be the strong message that i am open to learn if there is a power bi definitely i doesn't know by today tomorrow by tomorrow or day after tomorrow i definitely will be knowing the, at least the basic how exactly to use the power bi it happens for not only one but almost all the technology that different different companies have adapted right so this is something you know to keep these things in mind while you are a real uh, real while you are working as a real time data scientist while you are working as a data scientist once from the aspiring data scientist to now entering to the company these are the things that you should take care in the company and also communication and uh, uh, you know cross sectional uh, communication where multiple teams you are you are collaborating with multiple teams the communication you should never have the hesitation as a data scientist you should be open to see the, uh, once a uh, once a while there was a person who just explained me that a great businessman never hesitate to communicate so he said like that so i follow that guy and uh, i follow uh, i follow him a lot so because of that i changed myself from zero to somewhat uh you know some value of 40 or 60 some some bear or what i'm definitely not zero at this point because i know at least how to communicate now so that is very much important communication doesn't mean only speaking in english and conveying your thought it also mean that you are understanding the project requirement understanding other teams requirement what exactly they are telling and what you are at what what is the vision of the company what is the entire uh, 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 vision that we are trying to uh, you know that we are trying to achieve what is the uh, end output of this particular project that we are uh, trying to achieve what is the timelines uh, and you should effectively if you are facing some problems you should effectively talk it to your superior immediately without wasting any time do not when you feel so pressurized you will feel you may feel it may happen when you feel so much pressurized just try to give some extra hours that's all that's how you can overcome this small small problems at work while working as a data scientist i hope the information and the experience i shared 
or my uh, four, four to five, uh, five to six months of experience that I shared in 30 minutes. I hope this is definitely helpful for you people. Uh, and if you are the one who are looking to become a data scientist, I wish you all the very, very best. And uh, yeah, with this, I would like to say goodbye and uh, thank you for listening.